They got their cutie marks! Oh, is this a good episode. I will admit I have been falling behind the series these past couple of weeks, but I am so glad I saw this episode as soon as possible. Because this has been a long time coming. Ever since Call of the Cutie back in Season 1, the Cutie Mark Crusaders have been looking for their marks. Going through episodes like The Showstoppers, Twilight Time, showing how the main six got their marks, and of course not forgetting the Luna episodes. And now we're here. And the big question is, was it worth it? Well first let's look at what we got. The CMC saw that Diamond Tiara was from an abusive household, which added some much needed depth to this previously one dimensional bully character. And instead of using that against her, they taught her about friendship and showed her what she was missing in her life. And the true meaning of her cutie mark. It's so good. Amy Keating Rogers, you're an awesome writer. As for timing, I think this was a good time for them to get their marks. I did think they would do it latter half of season 5 or very early season 6. Like episode 4 or 5 early. But this was a very good time to do it. They got the episodes they needed and it wasn't too dragged out. My one gripe, however, is... The design. I don't like the design of their marks. They don't flow with the CMC's characters or designs. The shield shape is something I'd expect to see on a pony in the Royal Guard like Shining Armor or Brad. And the colours. I know cutie mark colours usually match the pony's main colour, and I guess that's what they were trying to do, but the shades look a little off to me. And the purple star, apple and lightning bolt is kind of hard to see. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'll have to, it's canon. But this doesn't distract from the big event. Back to the Future is next Saturday.